Hi, Mark Anthony here to show you how to cheat your way to a better stuffed portobello mushroom. Let me tell you, I've got a way that you are gonna love to do these. Right here, I actually covered these right level with water, let the water reduce until right now, and then I'm gonna flip these babies over. Basically, what I did was actually boiled off the mushrooms. And this is one of those little tricks that nobody knows. And uh, most people in the industry don't even know this one. Um, and so we're gonna get those mushrooms right there for now. Then let me get this baby cranked back up here. What you have here is really a concentrated mushroom flavor. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this tomb to it. If you were uh, seeing some of my other recipes, this is actually uh, uh, garlic whipped, whipped garlic. In fact, that's the name of the one you can look up, whipped garlic. And so if you don't make that, you can actually just do some garlic and oil or garlic and butter and, and you'll be good to go. And uh, then we're gonna add some carrots, some celery, and some onions to it. Carrots, celery, onions, that's your whipping right there. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit more in there just to really get that baby fluffing good. Okay. And we're gonna make sure this is nice and moist as well. So we're actually gonna add a little more water to it. Okay, now that we got that going, I do save these stems because we're gonna give these a quick spin. Boom, boom. Because there's so much flavor, 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 flavor in there. And then a lot of people, when you're gonna do your stuffed portobello mushrooms, they're gonna use breadcrumbs. Now I make homemade bread, just so you know. I think I've shared that with you a few times. So, but I'm gonna take homemade bread and that's probably enough right there. That's probably enough. I'm gonna take homemade bread. Uh, the problem with using breadcrumbs like most people do is that um, it makes your entire item taste grainy. And the last thing you want is something that tastes like grain. And uh, so we're gonna actually just use some fresh bread here. And uh, let me get this cleaned up. I know I clean as I go. That's the only way to do it. Okay. And now we're gonna give this a quick spin. Won't take long at all. That works right there. Just like that. So you've got some mushrooms and breadcrumbs in there. And the, what we're doing here is basically just getting the vegetables cooked up a little bit. And I'm gonna use all this water. I can tell already. And then we add our breadcrumbs to it. And I can kind of tell exactly how much I'm gonna need, so. And you want this moist. You definitely want it moist. You don't want to dry. Uh, yeah, just like that. There we go. Yeah, you can see how there's moisture in there. In fact, you could even do it a little wetter if you wanted. I do have one secret ingredient for you, though. The one secret ingredient nobody knows. A little Dijon mustard. Just a little shot. And right here I've got some sage. That gives it a nice herb type of flavor. And then some tarragon, which kind of gives it that little licorice whip. And people are gonna be like, what is that flavor? And this one right here, I can tell I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it. Because I wanna maintain some moisture in it. And uh, the oil is going to help maintain some moisture inside of it. Whoo boy, oh man, the aromatherapy. This is gonna be plenty, so I don't need that. Okay, let me grab these mushroom caps right here. And you can use pretty much any mushroom. You don't have to use the portobellos. Um, you can take uh, garlic butter. You can always give them a little spread inside like this if you want. And that will um, also help uh, 
give it some flavor down under. Ooh, they're perfect though, they're per absolutely perfect. Okay, put that right there. Okay, just like this, and I'm going to grab a glove just because I'm gonna be getting my hands nice and hot here. What a simple way to do these. I'm telling you, so many people just struggle with um, stuffed mushrooms. But this is the way you do it. We're gonna just put a little bit in each one of these. Right like that, we're gonna stuff them. And basically you're just putting a mountain right on top of each one. Whew. I made a lot. You can use this for other things too. Uh, you can stuff zucchinis and eggplants and things like that as well. Um, I knew I was going to have plenty. That's why I didn't put all that other bread in it. I can make breadcrumbs and things like that. Okay, so we're going to put this in the oven. And let me tell you, it's only going to take like 20 minutes on 400 degrees and boom, it's ready to come out. So let me get this in the oven and we'll catch you in just a couple minutes. Hey, they're done. They are definitely done. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. And see what we're doing here is we're making them just get them a little crispy brown on the outside. If you cook them hotter, then it's just gonna crisp up the outside because basically the thing is already cooked. It's completely cooked. You already boiled off the uh, mushrooms. You shrank them a little bit. You've already cooked everything inside here. So it's, uh, it's pretty much done. And now you just plate this baby up and whoo. Okay. That's a little steaming. I think you can catch that on camera for sure. And uh, we'll see how we do here. <laughs> Should have had a different type of a uh, Thing, but uh, if you don't find one thing to do the job, you find something else. You know, I grew up in a kitchen where we improvise, overcome and adapt. <laughs> That's right. You know, you don't have the right tool, you find another tool that'll do the job and uh, get the job done. And let me tell you, is this the fastest, easiest, most intelligent way to do stuffed mushrooms? Time-wise, flavor-wise, this is gonna blow you away. And um, the basic concept is you boil off the mushrooms, uh, use a little bit of that water to cook off your vegetables, your peppers you can use, onions, celery, carrots, uh, shallots work really good. Hit it with some flavor, whatever flavor you want. You wanna go heat, you wanna go savory. You can do uh, uh, like basil, oregano. You can do tomato bases if you want. Uh, I like doing the savory myself. Uh, the bread, make sure you use fresh bread, not bread crumbs or croutons or anything like that because it'll make it taste grainy. And, uh, and a little bit of garlic and boom, salt. <laughs> I mean, it's so easy and boom, you have got a fabulous, fabulous meal uh, as a side dish, uh, appetizer, but it, it will blow people away. So anyway, uh, that's the easy, intelligent, cheating way to get mushrooms done in a split second. And, uh, uh, so enjoy this one, send it off to your friends, and we'll see you next time in the kitchen. Mm -hmm.